All right, if you're ready to get started, I am too. We're going to do something I haven't done one in quite a while. We're going to do a wet on wet. It's a 16 by 20 canvas. I am going, I got this brush is what I used to put on some liquid white a while ago. I'm going to start with some pink. I know you're probably thinking, why pink? I don't know. Something different. I've been using some pink, a lot of pink in some of my paintings. I kind of like it. Throw it up here real quick. Hopefully this don't take too long. I'm hoping. Make sure I get it down far enough. Yeah, let me grab some phthalo blue. Make sure I don't want, I don't want to get too awful much, but let's get some. Mix it up in here. And when you put this liquid white on, the way you tell if you got enough, you take your finger. If I didn't have this, if I didn't have this glove on, I could take my finger and touch it. And if I turn it around and I see my fingerprints, that's good. If you touch it, you turn your finger around, you look at it, and your finger is solid white. Take some off. Take a paper towel and wipe it off because you got too much. You need to see your fingerprint. I probably have to take a clean brush here in a minute. Let me get a little Prussian blue. A little darker up in here, these corners. Across the top, a little darker. Get me a cleaner brush. Make sure it's clean. Okay. We'll start right here doing some crisscross. And I'm going to start working my way up. Let me set this down a second. Start working my way up. Start in the lightest area and work up. Don't start at the top and work down, that would be bad. It would be considered a bad thing. Okay, I like it so far. Wipe, that, wipe this brush off. I may have to use this again here in a minute. Let's go ahead and put our mountain in. Uh, I got my knife here in front of me. I tried to put some stuff in front of me here so I don't turn around so much. Let's see, this is probably, I don't want it any really any lower than that. Prussian blue, black, and I just had some red left over from his pink. It's, this is it's just medium red is what it's called. I usually use crimson, lizard and crimson, but it's okay. Let's start right up in here. Yeah, this is really different when you're using um, liquid white when you're usually doing dry mountains. Really different. I think this is okay because you know you don't have to use quite as much paint. I mean, this spreads real easy. Let's see what I can do with that. I mean, that may spread. That may spread real nice. Let me get me a. I'm gonna use a one inch, I think. Let's see how well this spreads out. I want to come down to about in there. I think this is going to have trees and stuff covering most of this right here. Yep. 
you know, really when you're doing these wet on wets, all you really have to be concerned about is the top. Because it spreads. I mean, you see how much I put on there. I mean, this stuff spreads so easy. And you don't want a big bunch of paint on there anyway, so by it spreading, it's really doing you a favor. Let's see, I don't think that looks like a volcano. I can, I have a bad habit of making them look like volcanoes. Maybe I'll put a little. Uh, yeah, I think I'll put a little something right here. I must like volcanoes or something. I do them sometimes, man. They do. They look just like a volcano. I have to reshape them. That's okay. As long as you do it before your paint dries. Yeah, don't do it afterwards. It could almost be a mountain in front of a mountain there, couldn't it? A little small mountain. I think that's okay. All right. Let's go ahead. Since we got a pink sky, I may put a little pink in this. I don't know. Is that too brave? <laughs> it might be. I don't know. I mean, it does have a pink sky, don't it? Let's get us a little roll. Got to have your paper towels in front of you to wipe your knife off. I'm going to make this one mountain there. I don't want to, I don't think I'm going to do the mountain in front of a mountain. And you're barely touching it. You see, I just about dropped my knife. I, barely touching. And I'm not sure how far to bring it down. I just don't know. Yeah, we're just winging this. Like always, we're just winging. I'll put some right here. And I'm going to bring today, I'm going to make a smell. Try to make it a little different than I normally do. If I can. thick right there and it's okay. Let's see here and bring this around a little bit. I'll just hook this for now. I, I don't know we might change that. But for now we're just gonna hook it together. Okay let me get my other knife out here, my smaller one. Um, I'm going to take, here's my palette, I'm going to take some of this, stick it in this pile I was just working with. Probably ain't white enough. You got to be able to see it. Maybe take some of this pink and throw it in there. Why not? I mean, shoot. See how this looks. Yeah, I think you can probably see that. Let me just get a, a little bit there. And just a little bit here. A little bit here. Time to switch knives now. My big knife back. The bigger the knife, the better for stuff like this, really. Just gonna come right here. And as 
I said, I'm not sure how far over to bring it. Because we're going to have trees here and there. Let me pull this painting out just a little bit. Just needs to be a little darker here. Toward the front area. a little darker too. Let's see here. Probably should have brought this mountain down a little further, maybe down into there. Let's see if I can do that. Let's see what's on this brush. Yeah, I still got paint on here. I think I want it to come down a little further on this side. Just a little more on this side. Let me wipe my knife off. Get it clean. Make me another little pile of that white I had there a minute ago with that little bit of pink in it. So you can see that pink in there. It don't look too bad. Let's bring this on down a little bit more. Take some of this collar. Now let's soften this up a little. Find me a clean brush. This might be clean. I think I was saving this for just for the yep. This is a two inch. Keep your paper towels handy. Let's do a little sketch. See what was on this brush. Looks brown. I was using brown a little ago, and I bet this is brown, and that's probably okay for a little sketch. I'll put a little blue in it just to get rid of some of that brown. Oh, let's see here. Let me pull this out. Uh, let's see, we probably want some a little bit of water. I'm doing something like that. Maybe over here. I'm just sketching it, so we're just, we're okay. Um, have some land. Maybe another little bump right there. And this can just be land right there. Okay. Let me get a dirty brush, which shouldn't be a problem around here. 
And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use some of this mountain color I had. And I'm just going to fill this in right here. I do these paintings a little different than I do my other paintings that don't have uh, liquid white on it. Let me get a little bit more black. These are a little different. Yeah, let's see, I'll bring this up here. I'm going to have some shrubbery or something right there at the base of that mountain. Got to have something there. Yeah, I'm just using up some of this mountain collar. It's pretty dark. As long as it's a dark collar, you're fine. Put a little more black in that. And in here. I think that's probably okay for that. Let me get another brush here real quick before I go much further. I use a lot of brushes, man, I tell you. <laughs> if I have a brush and it's clean, I, I can't stand it apparently because I sure use a lot of, go through a lot of brushes. This is going to be water right here. Let me take a little of that pink. Just a little. I mean, see it ties your painting together. Pink, there's pink, a little pink in your water. What's wrong with that? Nothing. A little darker right here. Okay, get me a fan brush. I had one laid out so I wouldn't have to turn around, turn around so much. I guess I'll use this one. I am just going to, I think this is what I'm going to use. Just took some green, some yellow, maybe a little black. Let's see, let me think here a minute. Is this how I want to do this? Probably not. Let me get me a different brush. Just hang on one second. Okay, I got it. Let me see if this is the brush I want. Yeah, it's better than the last one. This is my a brush I use. This is my granddaughter's brush. I use it all the time. For things for things like this where a one inch brush is maybe a little too big. And it is for this. This is just shrubbery, little trees or whatever you want to call it. A little darker toward the bottom. A little darker right here. brush. I would say a clean brush, but man, I am running out. Running out of clean brushes. Oh, that looks pretty good. Just a little water line in. Okay. 
Well, let's go ahead and throw some pine trees in. I think I'm going to use a bigger brush than what I have. Let's go ahead and do that. So far, so good. Let's keep it that way. I got a pretty good size brush here. Um, let's put one right here. This brush is a little beat up, but I think I think we can do a little bit of something with it. I'm gonna have to keep switching brushes because that one is a little beat up. I gotta say, it's <laughs> the end of it is afraid. I mean, it's it's almost sad. Let's see how many we want here. We want an odd number of trees. Probably, definitely want one right here to cover up this edge. Get my big brush again, put another, see if I can get by with another big tree on this side. Right here. See, we don't want them the same size, that's for sure. Oh, let's bring this one all the way down. That'll definitely cover some ground there, won't it? See if I can make this tree look okay. This brush is so bad. <laughs> uh, I have new brushes. I, I need to really. This one was just back there and I grabbed it and I thought, oh gosh, after I grabbed it, grabbed the wrong one. You can do your, gra your grass first, and I, for that tree I probably should have, but it's okay. It's not that big a deal. Okay, let me look here a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to debate whether I want to use a one-inch brush for my land or a fan brush. I typically use fan brushes, and I, and I might. I think I will probably, if I can find a better one than what I had. Gosh, this one's almost not any better, but we'll use it. Well, the sun's coming down this way. We definitely know that much. Let's see how that looks, how bright. That's pretty bright, but that's okay. So you can still get back here. I've got to go over this tree anyway. So it really makes no difference. It's not that big a deal. As long as you know how to fix a, pro fix a mistake if you make it. Now, if you don't know how to fix something, then that's different. Even though, even though nobody really wants to fix something. If you're like me, you want to do it right the first time, but that's just not always how it goes. I'm going to put a little bit right here, a little bit of this yellow. Oh, let me get into a little ochre. Let's see what a little ochre might look like right up in here. A little ochre here. This is going to be darker here. Obviously, I'm going to have to make it a little darker. I'm going to do this grass before I go any further. Um, let's go ahead and get some more yellow. We're going to make this a separate hill. We want this, we want this to be shining right here. Ochre. You know, use different colors. I mean, that's, that's what I like to do. Pick us up so I don't want to keep bending over in front of you there. 
Let's try some. Let's get into some greens. A lot of yellow on that brush still. I figured this green would dull that out. Let me get a little Prussian blue and put in here. That'll, this should certainly dull things down a little. I don't want it that bright right in here. I want dull or dark. Not dull, but dark. Let's see here. This probably is a little too dark right in there. Don't want it too dark. I like my bright collars. I'll probably go over this one more time right there. Brighten that up a little more. But I do have to clean my brush off before I do that. I might go ahead and I think I'm going to go ahead and throw some green. I'm going to brighten these trees up a little bit. Green and yellow. These trees are a little too dark. I'm not sure you can see a difference or not, but I, I certainly can. Yeah. Yeah, I can see a difference. You don't want them this dark. This is typically how I do it. I mean, I'll put them down first, and they're usually too dark. Because it's because they really should be dark when you first put them down. And then I'll come back and brighten them up a little. And then I'll come back and put some highlights on them with my nice bright yellow. I'm doing this basically to get some of that off my brush. I don't want it. I don't want too much on here. I just want some collar to show through. I don't want it to be nutso or anything. I probably should put another tree or two. Let's see, there's four. Yeah, I need one more. Black and green. Sap green. Got paper towel handy. I need one right here. Right there. See, this tree is not as dark. See, I hit that grass. See how it looks muddy right there? Let's go ahead and throw some highlights on these trees. Let me find me a highlight brush. I had one out earlier. Another paper towel. Pure cad yellow light. And we'll get me a gotta have a paper towel in one hand, brush in the other. We will start right here. I'm just going to touch the right side of these trees. They're very wet. You need a pretty good amount on here. Maybe not quite that much. 
pretty good amount of paint on here. Pretty good amount. And I just touched the right side of these trees. Those of you that's watched me before know know how I do it. But we have new subscribers all the time, so some people don't know. But this is how I typically do pine trees. I just like how it looks, that's all. I think it's a pretty good way to do it. Wipe your brush off every time. Just keep doing this really it's just it takes a little time but I think it's well worth it I mean if you like it there's a million ways to do stuff this is one of a million you don't really have to do this at all if you don't want this is just how I highlight pine trees As I said, if you watch another painting channel, they'll do it a different way. It's just how it is. One more paper towel. Well, I'm eating through these paper towels today. Give me some more. We're just about done with this. Almost done. I'm almost out of yellow. <laughs> so that would be a good thing to be almost done, wouldn't it? I am really running low here. Big time. Uh, I think I can scoop up just a little more here, and that's real close to being it. So you got me a big gob on here. You typically don't want a big gob. Not that big. I will come all the way down through here. Got a big old chunk on there again. That's okay. I probably need it down here in this real wet area. There, I think that looks all right. And I stopped right here. I didn't come down all the way because I figure this tree shading that tree a little bit toward the bottom. Okay, let me get. There it is. Let me get my knife right here. Let me put in just a few little water lines right here. Don't need much. Ain't got much room to put too much. See here, it's really, it's really a tight one here. There, it's good. Oh yeah, let me highlight this a little bit more. Another paper towel. 
I may put a I may put a stump right here maybe maybe a rock or two I, I mean I don't know this is a really basic as you see right here this is very basic um, Okay, let me get some white. I'm going to use this white and pink that I got. Mix a little yellow in it. Make it real vibrant and bright. Let's see if I can get this to stick. Barely. Barely get to stick. It's so wet. You know, you can always thin your paint down. Thin paint will stick to a thicker paint. I just don't like doing that to be quite honest. Because all you're doing is making things wetter. <laughs> and that's okay. I mean if you got to do it, you got to do it. But I just don't like doing it. I don't mean you can't do it. Let's do a little more on the other side here. Mainly here, just a little bit. Maybe it's coming through a little right there. Maybe right here. It might even be hitting right here. Let's see. Can we do anything with that? Yeah. That looks a little better. Okay, let me put a stump in. I, I gotta do a little bit more here. To me, it just needs something a little bit more. Okay. Paper towels, paper towels, where you get where are you? I'm just gonna break me off a couple here. Because I'm going to put a stump, I think, right here. I'm gonna, basically I'm going to wipe this paint off. Is what I'm doing. I think. I think right there. An old stump there. And maybe a rock right here. I'm scraping the paint off and I'm wiping it off and I think that would I think that's good let me see if I can take I got a shop towel right here and I'm gonna try to wipe this stump off a little bit because that is really wet if I mess the grass up we can fix it Yeah. We can fix it. We don't want to mess it up, but if we do, we can fix it. Yeah, that helped that helped a lot right there. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off. Where my rock is gonna be. Okay. Now we can get down to business. I'm going to take some white and I'm going to use some of this pink. See this ties your painting all together. And it all starts from the sky. I'm going to go ahead and start on this rock. Still has a lot of green in it, but that's okay. And I'm gonna start here on this stump. So you can see that green coming through. There's a lot of paint on there. But we can we can do it. Yellow ochre and burnt sienna. Right 
I'll throw this on here. It actually works for both of them. Burnt sienna and yellow ochre. Sun's coming down this way. See what some raw umber looks like. Raw umber is a dark color. It's a to me it's a mix of black and brown. shadow so having said that let's get some black and some real umber let me get me a touch of Prussian blue out real fast if you don't mind I just need a I need a literally a touch okay see that was fast Trying to do this video unedited today. I get requests for that sometimes. Let's go ahead. This is very wet. I probably might have to wipe that off actually. I'll just wipe it off with my brush. How's that? Huh? Wipe it off with your brush. Still not as good as a paper towel though. Or one of these pretty bad and you gotta wipe it off just to put a shadow on it, isn't it? I mean man this is soaked that's you know that's basically why I don't use liquid white on or liquid clear on the whole thing a lot of times man it's hard to work with if you paint like I do I mean I, I paint a certain way But it is fun to do. I, I kind of enjoy painting like this. I put a little Prussian blue in this. I'm not sure why I'm whispering. Sound like I was whispering. <laughs> Don't want nobody to hear me. Um, black, Prussian blue. We're just doing a shadow here. I'll have to touch up the grass a little bit around here. And that's okay. That's not a problem. You know, don't let things frustrate you. I mean, it's not that big a deal. It may seem like a big deal, especially when you first start painting. But after you paint a while, you realize, ah, just another day at the office. Got to fix this. Got to fix that. That's just how it is. You get used to it. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. Let me take a smaller brush. Got one right here. Let me run a little Prussian blue down the side. I always think it looks good. Putting a little dark down here at the bottom. Okay. Let's see if we can't make this rock a little darker right here. Needs to have some darkness in it. Better not use that brush again. Let me get a different one. I had, once you put blue on it, man, it's it's over. Let me get a different brush. I'm just 
just putting another little highlight on this. Let me stand back and look. Okay, I got me a baby brush here. I'm going to fix this grass that I messed up. Just right in here, a little bit right here. I'm trying to debate if I want to have one of my signature red bushes in here or not. Still looks, it still looks plain, but this is, I mean, that's kind of the way I really wanted it to be. So, I don't know. I'll think about it here for a second. All right, I can't help myself. I've got a, I'm gonna put a red bush right there. I've already got, got the black part in there. You know, it just needs some color. I just can't help it. Let me go ahead and cad red light. I hope it works out good. Man, this poor brush. <laughs> this brush looks like it's about ready for the boneyard. Let me start out kind of light here. If I can get it to stick, see that's the that's the issue. We'll get it one way or the other. One way or the other, we're going to get it. And you got to be careful how many times you touch it, too, because it'll mess it up. It'll mess it up. Turn into a bunch of mud is what it'll do. I'm going to try to put some white in here, lighten this up even more. Okay, maybe just a touch of white at the top. If I can do it. Sometimes you're better off to leave things alone, aren't you? That's not, that's not bad. All right, after looking at this, I think this needs a little bit more stuff in it. I think I'm gonna put a couple more rocks right here. It's just a little plain. I may even put, I'm going to put something else right here too. So let me get some brown. I'll just go ahead and use brown. I think I'm going to put two more rocks. Get a little bit more. This paint is actually sat overnight. I looked at it yesterday and I thought, after I finished, and I thought, man, this it sure looks a little plain. So we're going to spruce it up just a little bit. Spruce it up. Now let's put this rock right here. I make these rocks round sometimes because it's near water, you know, and erosion and all that. They, they probably should be round more than jagged. Because over time, this may have been in the water a million years ago. I may put another one right here. I mean, I don't know. It just needs something. Let's put one right here. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, right here. Yeah, that'll give us four. That means we probably need to put another one because odd numbers are better in painting, they say. Yeah, I probably wished I hadn't put that one there. I don't, <laughs> I don't like that spot. Live and learn, right? Um, let's see, I could put one there. I'm thinking it's a bad thing, ain't it? 
Yeah, it may be all right. Uh, I may put a bush there. I don't know. But I do think I need one more tree. Take some black sap green. Let's put one more tree right here next to our stump. Just needs something. Just needs more stuff in it. There's nothing wrong with having a simple painting, but you know you want to have it be kind of interesting. And maybe maybe a smaller one right here. Maybe a smaller one right there. Let's see, let's go ahead and lighten these up just a little. Really that's all this is, this is just just to lighten the tree up a little bit. Because you don't want a black tree, not usually. Sometimes you might. Okay, we still got to highlight that. Let me find a different brush here. I don't know what was on this, and it really don't matter. Let's throw some highlights on these rocks. Uh, let's go so we can see them better. I always have you a paper towel in your hand usually. It's pretty beneficial. Let's take some ochre. Ochre and some white. Just start making some rocks. Ochre. White. These trees here, I mean, these rocks on this side are probably shaded, I would have to say. I would say they're more shaded than not, so we probably won't put a gigantic highlight on them. I don't think. That's what I'm saying now, I may change my mind. It's just ochre. Remember, we started with brown, so this is mixing. Let's take some sienna, burnt sienna, throw in here. Just for more color. Take some of this. Another paper towel. I'm just jumping back and forth, ain't I?
Yeah, let's put a little bit over here. Can't help it. Let's darken this stuff up a little bit here. Let's take some raw umber. I'm going to throw in some shadow stuff. Raw umber. Darken this up behind. You might not even be able to see that because it's already dark. But that's okay. I can see it. I know it's there. Just trust me. It's there. It's the shadow. Let's go ahead and darken this a little bit down in here. Let me take some Prussian blue right here at the base of these rocks. There's a lot, a lot of things in nature has blue in it. You just really probably don't pay attention to it. And you, I never did either until I started painting and I realized, hey, there's all kinds of colors in that. It's one of the things you just don't, unless you're looking, you don't pay any attention to it. Stand back and look at that a little bit here. Let's see, where's my umber? A little darker. Let's see here. Quite that dark. Okay, that's, that's probably close. Let's go ahead and highlight our trees. Hopefully, I got enough cad yellow light out to do it. Just going to tap the right side of it like we always do. Sun is coming down this way. We have determined Okay, not bad. I think it looks a little better just by adding that little bit of stuff. It was just a little too plain. Just didn't have enough stuff in it. You can overdo things. You don't want to do that either. But I don't think we overdid it. I really don't think so. Well, folks, that looks like a wrap. I think it turned out pretty good. This is a wet on wet. You guys seen the whole thing. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. Thanks for watching.